Hi, I'm Ian Lyon. And I'm Lisa McCravey. And we are Senior Landscape Architects at Rayburn Farker Bowen. Arguably one of the most influential texts on landscape architecture internationally is Scottish landscape architect Ian McHarg's Design with Nature. Notwithstanding his pioneering environmental work on both sides of the pond, he's also referred to anecdotally as the grandfather of GIS, and his method of setting out and overlaying information geographically to inform landscape analysis and design has an enduring legacy in how we analyse and look at landscape today. However, up until recently, there was a clear divide between analysis and real-world development. Wider-scale landscape and environmental planning practices typically use a more GIS-based data-rich system to reference banks of existing research, whereas those of us who are designing to build use CAD layers for designing detail, ease of collaboration with engineers and architects, and a more precise construction output. Site analysis undertaken at the beginning of a development project is all too often just a snapshot in time, a study which is put to one side after the concepts are set to then focus on the intricacies of detailed design in CAD. And indeed, many plans that we receive from architects are of building floor plans floating in space and rotated to suit a structural grid, which is impossible to place on the site without referring to earlier drawings. It's a particular bugbear of mine. Whilst we're designing for buildability and we're well versed in the successful design and delivery of projects, we also understand that the best design response, going right back to McHarg's design with nature, is grounded in place and understanding. Site analysis shouldn't be a snapshot only referred to at initial stages. It should continually inform design iterations and it needs to be an integral part of a project throughout its development. For this, the georeferencing functionality of Vectorworks is completely changing how we can work. Our CAD drawings, with all the same benefits of collaboration and technical detail, now also contain information on where they are in the globe, which opens up a supersized window of opportunity for us. Vectorworks partnership with Esri to give us access to their geo-imaging is really fantastic and allows quick access to reprojected aerial imagery at scale for any given project, so we're immediately drawing on the site from the get-go. But in addition to that, in geo-referencing our drawings, we can directly import and access a wealth of other information, typically only produced for GIS analysis. That could include anything from historic and cultural information on protected battlefield sites, listed buildings and monuments, to landscape and ecological information on protected landscapes and habitats, to local planning information, including authority boundaries, core paths, cycle paths. I assume this means we don't necessarily have to draw things from scratch in the same way we used to do in the past, and this will then give us more time to analyse and design. Well, yes, exactly, and also it's more accurate data to design with. No more guesstimates painstakingly drawn from eyeing up a bloody photocopy or a not-to-scale PDF. It's worth noting too that working in a location-based system actually opens up far more opportunities than just importing and analysing pre-existing data on the site. It can also change the way we produce information, for example, with our Inner Fourth Wanderings and Windings project. This project was to create nine new day-long walking and cycling heritage trails within the inner catchment of the River Forth which spans over 200 square kilometres. The trails make use of existing paths and tracks and encourage local people and visitors to explore the landscape and discover the many hidden gems to be found around the Inner Forth, both by bike and on foot. These include nature hotspots, historic buildings, riverside views, cultural landmarks and just places to escape from the bustle of urban life. Over the space of a couple of weeks, we physically cycled all 227 miles of route to install around 400 bespoke discs that we mark each route. In doing this, we generated GPS files of the routes in real time as they were travelled using the popular Strava app. Yeah, but what's this got to do about Vectorworks? Well then, because Vectorworks understood where in the world the project was, we converted our GPS files to shapefiles and easily imported the route plans to Vectorworks rather than having to redraw any of the routes manually. This enabled an easy creation of route maps for publication, super accurate output, and crucially meant we didn't actually have to draw anything, which allowed us to spend much more time in the analysis stage, chatting to locals and determining the very best routes for the project.
It's worth noting that not all useful data comes from shapefile databases though. There's a huge amount of site-specific information that most of us already reference to inform our designs that would just become much more intuitive if it were directly accessible. With such extensive information available within the tree survey, we experimented with importing the surveyor's spreadsheet directly into Vectorworks. To our delight, we found that by importing the tree survey using this data, Vectorworks generated 2D and 3D representations of each canopy in the correct position and recorded information on each tree's condition, category, species and everything else that the surveyor has included. That all sounds really good, but how did that benefit your project? Well, using the data visualisation techniques within the software allowed us to easily interrogate and display various criteria while analysing the concept designs in the context of mature tree loss. This ability to harness technical information and display it within our project better enabled us to make a case to our design team, our client and particularly local people within our consultations on the importance of tree retention as a focus for the site and the project moving forward. So as well as being able to import, access, analyse and create information in different ways, there's also a key benefit in what we can output particularly now that our drawings have location-based information included. I know I'm a total georeferencing geek. Our £4 million Woodside Making Places project is all about transforming the streets, green spaces, play areas and courtyards of the Woodside area of Glasgow, creating an attractive, multifunctional green infrastructure network with a strong sense of place. The project integrates walking and cycling routes, biodiverse habitats, sustainable rainwater drainage, vibrant doorstep play and edible landscapes, and the design is being heavily informed by engagement with the local community. For the second stage of consultation, we're evaluating our processes and again looking at how we can improve. Particularly, we found static plans to be quite difficult for some of the community to orient themselves on and read without one of our team being there in person to offer guidance. So we're now engaging with place changers an online consultation tool which offers location-based commenting. So, how does that work? Well, we can export a geo-referenced image of our plans straight from Vectorworks and upload it onto Place Changers in just a few clicks. Then, because our plan's geo-referenced, it knows its own scale and remembers where it is in the world, so it fits really easily onto a zoomable interactive map, which allows users to see where they are in relation to proposals and even provides people with the ability to click and comment on specific areas. We're also creating a 3D model of our proposals to upload online too, to allow local people to interrogate the proposals themselves and see things in a real world perspective. We'll also be able to use this model as a tool to consider things like levels design, water runoff, and the most appropriate location for rain gardens within our new proposals. BIM has already made sure that data-rich drawings and models have to be a focus for us. We want to make sure that we create the best designs possible and we believe our Vectorworks workflows will help inform the best solutions for both people and nature. And we're really looking forward to getting stuck in and seeing where things go next.